What's going on, everyone? So, day 90, or the end of day 90, I should say. And I just figured I'd check back in and do a little recap. Now, the past few days have been kind of a little bit of a mixture of things that have happened. Uh, earlier today, when I first woke up, uh, sure enough, got hit with a random horde. And... Oh, so you guys are just gonna spoil on my parade. So, so, so we're gonna start today this way, huh? Yeah. Yeah, she don't need arms. Alright, well, uh, this is kind of unexpected. Holy hell! Nothing. Oh god. I just really did not watch that place. How do I survive Fortnite? Damn it, Vic. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that just went through. Okay, cool. Ah, quit your bitching! The ones that came running up on me, damn! And then I decided to go to Hub City, break down a bunch of cars, and hopefully get oil. Came across a couple cops. No. Whoa! No, 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 not my bike, not my bike, not my bike. Man, that better not have hit my bike. Damn, another cop right over there? Whoa. Okay. This is starting out pretty good. Hey, hey, get your ass back over here. There we go. Sorry. That's sorry. <sighs> okay. Well, Sylvia. Edgar. Damn sandwiches. Nobody's got time for that. Weaker.
There you go. I guess the same can be said about me. Come on, don't get hurt. What? Tweaker? Alright, alright. Quit playing with my with my friends, apparently. And at the end of it all, made a lot of batteries, uh, small engines, and more importantly, I've got 53 oil. So you can see I actually have some of the loot on me that got from uh, breaking down cars. Uh, three of the oil was already, or eight, eight of the oil was already here at the base from uh, random hordes. So I made 45 oil in Hub City today by breaking down a bunch of cars. Then two days ago, I decided I'm going to do a trader run. And originally I was going to do an episode on that. And I got to thinking, the last non-Horde Night episode, I believe, is another trader run. So I didn't really want to submit you guys to that again. And it's almost kind of like a fallback episode. And I don't want to do that. Uh, so, needless to say, I went and saw the traders. Hi hey again, Bob. Hi, Jimmy. How you doing, Rick? Bob, I need oil. What's up, jackass? Oh, come on, Bob. One of you has got to have oil. Hi, Bob. All right, Rick. Bob. Well. Bob, Bob, Bob. I... Rick, of all people, had nine oil. I literally hit every trader except for Rick all the way in the north with the snow biome, and all I got was nine oil. Uh, went to Hub City today, and like I said, I made forty-five oil. So, um, yeah, traders are starting to piss me off. Base improvements. Now, as I said, I, after Horde Night, I was going to take some time and actually work on the base. And as you can see, some things have changed. Some things are progressing. And more importantly, you know, well, aside from getting the second letter, lettering out, um, I made the conscious decision that no, I'm sticking to my guns with this. It's supposed to be a facility, not slash residential. Uh, so, yeah, there's some changes done. Now, Al. So, first things first, I made a bun uh, bunch of plotted, potted plants. Uh, turned those into azalea, obviously. So I got my azalea going. I took industrial business glass, stuck it there. I like how you get a little bit of reflectiveness on that. Even though there is those weird circle patches every now and then, it kind of looks a little off. But, uh, still got that, uh, shiny flare to it. And then, for shits and giggles, I even threw them on the, the pillars. Just to give it a little bit more of a, like a texture thing. And I think where it really pops is the middle layer right here. Because now it's uh, smooth, you know, smooth looking, and when the sun does rise, you know, it does give off a, a nice glare. Uh, current solutions that I'm trying to figure out is lighting, 
my title there. Uh, I don't want to put spotlights up here to face that. You know, that no, that's not an option. So as I've been thinking, yeah, you know, if I would have made this a solid wall, it would have been easy. Uh, God, I hate saying this. But I'm starting to think that maybe I will come by and take out that entire roll of poles. God, I hate saying that. And then replace it with, obviously, a solid block. Or at least a plate. That way I can slap, the, you know, my organization on the front. And then, hopefully... Do it like I did with uh, my Zari Complex. You know, bury some spotlights out here in the yard to illuminate it. And that way you'll be able to see it. I'm not going to make no promises on that. But uh, that's where my thought process is happening right now. And like I said, this is a facility. Now when it rains, it's kind of weird. When it rains and snows, it actually turns a little bit of a gray color. You can see that I actually moved the Zari down here. And to be honest, um, I'm not really sure if I'm going to keep the blue. The blue is supposed to represent my residential, you know, hospitality type of thing. Uh, and my facilities, when it comes to all business, it should be that nice, sharp, black and white contrast. Um, so I'm a little bit decided on what I'm going to do with this. You know, maybe I'll keep it. Maybe I won't. I don't know. Just some things for me to contemplate and figure out. So, like I said, since it is a facility and it's all business. We come up here and you can see. You know, I put desks. Now, unfortunately, when you come in here, it's a lot darker than what it looks like outside. That kind of sucks, but, um, I don't want to overdo it with lights. You know, if, if we didn't have to worry about stability, oh, you did, you damn right, there'd be a modern light in every single office. Um, but I think for what it is, it works for, for the job it needs. And to, and to be honest, when it comes nightfall, nobody's here working. And if they are, well then... Kudos within the organization. Um, which, in retro retrospect, it kind of makes me wonder if I should have ever uh, blocked that off and turned this. But but each corner uh, office like this has a little bit bigger of an office. I figure, leave it like that. You know. Oh damn! Now it's snowing. Nice. Uh, but my bathrooms. Actually, I got the bathrooms done. And pretty well lit up, considering. Yeah. Got two toilets. And, of course, got a sink to wash up. Now, I was going to put a medical cabinet. The mirror. But, obviously, I can't because the plates. So, you know, there's this whole section right here and this... Is void. I can't build anything there, so. But that's fine, you know. And then originally I was gonna put uh, the trash can here, but like most places, there's always a trash can on your way out, so made a little bit more sense. And rinse and repeat. Uh, the only thing I changed every now and then was the side of which the computer was on, and of course how the chair sits. But it's a lot more lit up during the day, so that's totally fine by me. Now, as long as you got some ambient light going on, uh, I'm pretty happy with that. And I'm kind of curious, because I, don't, I haven't really been seeing snow lately. It kind of makes me, well, rinse and repeat, it makes me miss. Uh... My compound for being in the snow biome.
Yeah. Yeah, not too bad. It's dark. Yeah, it needs a lot more light. I don't have any frames to, to go up, but... But that's why I am thinking seriously about decimating that first roll of poles. Uh, yeah, you can see how... Yeah, it's got a little bit of a gray uh, color to it when it snows, rains. But at the same time, it's kind of cool that it fluctuates. But it would be nice to actually see that all light up the way it should. And even if I didn't do the entire roll, you know, just line it up to where it's centered and go from there. But that's a project in itself. I still have to come out here and flatten all this. You know, Horde Night's tomorrow, so I need to come out here and punch all this grass and get all that clear. I actually got to repair my spikes. And then the majority of my first couple days was actually working inside here. So you come in here and you can obviously immediately notice the difference. I blocked those off and then I finally opened it up back to where the pool used to be for the hotel. Or motel, I should say. Now, keep in mind, this is all a work in progress. And if I'm being honest, I actually stopped because I had flashbacks of my compound. You know... It got to that point when I started building the tunnels and everything. That's when stability went to hell on me. And it actually started making me nervous about doing this. Um, but it also confirmed why I'm not going to make this residential and move that somewhere else. But you can see you come through. I'm not going to spoil what all this is, but you know. Come in. I will have a pharmaceutical division. For the first time, I'm finally going to make a pharmaceutical. Uh, again, this was all supposed to happen at my compound. And this obviously is a work in progress, but this will go underground. And this will lead to my uh, zombie research. And then on this side of the wing, uh, this will be my uh, technology research. You know, advanced technology, making things float, you know, hover technology, things of that nature. Uh, but I have some more plotting and planning out to do. I actually need, uh, I had to stop because I was running out of iron. Uh, there's plenty in my forge, but I didn't have uh, enough up here. Because again, to make those red blocks, I gotta make scrap iron frames, so. Plus when I was down there, I didn't even realize I still had a thousand uh, flagstone blocks. So, brought another stack. That way I can keep on working uh, the walls and everything. And I did decide to keep everything uh, concrete. So, there was a lot of rebar frames. Actually, all the rebar frames I had, I actually have none. Um, But, used a bunch of concrete up. Because it's supposed to be, quote-unquote, underground. Like a secure bunker, in a sense. So... But yeah, that yeah, you know, it's a lot of work. Uh, I did use my auger, which is the reason why I can continuously have uh, repair kits uh, shortages. Uh, but tonight's haul going into Hub City uh, definitely helped out. I got none in the forge. I think there was thirty nine in my bike, and I now have. 53 oil, so I will be happily making repair kits here in a little while. But I will once again defend the uh, Horde Knight from here. It's working out just fine. So I don't really see any reason to stop doing it. Now, as far as loot goes, you know, like I said, I went to Hub City. And 
the cops that I killed, I did get a 533 sawed-off shotgun. And then later on, I got 471 shotgun. I did get a 454 pistol. And while I was selling all those, um, the fact that they're that high. And actually in the box downstairs, I actually have, uh, I think a really good barrel. And it's either a stock or a receiver on it. I can't remember. So, I'm kind of reverting back to my old ways in a sense, as far as I'm going to have multiple weapons. Uh, but not all in one location. I don't think I've already said this. I might have repeat. I might be repeating myself. I hope I'm not. If I am, just, uh, yeah, forgive me. I'm kind of tired. But, um, but yeah, I'm going to have one full set here in the armory. Well, not here, but in the armory. When I do build my own house or whatever, uh, I kind of still want to build a castle. I don't know. I don't know if I should save that for somewhere else. I, I'm not sure. Um, but when I finally do get around to that, which is still obviously a ways down the road, uh, I would keep a set there. And then as far as like my southern outpost, I want to keep a full set there. And down the road, when I go west and actually start looting and exploring the rest of this. Uh, which, I mean, considering that just going to the traders, I kind of mapped out quite a bit of it. Yeah. Because I do want to go to that. I think I'll set up a western outpost here. And, uh, yeah, I'll keep a full set there. So yeah, there, there's a couple sets that I have to, so crappy weapons, immediately dump the ammo and uh, sell the gun. The real good, high quality shit, I'm going to hold on to that. And that's where I'm really, really hoping for Horde Knights to become more beneficial in that regard. To at least speed up that process. Ah. Now I did replant my farm, and speaking of my farm... I currently have 120 fertilizer in my box behind me. I got hit with uh, dog days twice. Uh, the first time was right before 1 a.m. And then the second time was when I logged back in because it reset it uh, right there at the end of the night. So I ended up getting 100 uh, rotten meat from the dogs. And that should be done. That was currently boiling away in my cement mixer. Uh, many, many hours ago. So, I should be up to 130 if, if I got that right. Uh, the benefit to that is... That's 130. That means I need another 130 fertilizer to officially complete the farm as far as being able to grow. Because one side is... Uh, one side took 260 plat plots, so that's 260 fertilizer I need. So I am currently halfway there. <sighs> Which means Horde Knight, I get to use my knife again. Although, to be honest, I am tempted to... Uh, I do have a machete that I bought many, many moons ago. Uh... So, I may whip that bad boy out during Horde Night and use that to break down, you know, the bodies. Because, yeah, if that can one-hit it, at least then I'll do that. And I have been trying to keep my eyes open for more machetes when I go to the traders. But, yeah, traders haven't really been that uh, generous to me. Yeah, 120 fertilizer. Got more gas. Oh, all this crap. I still have to find a exit port from uh, my farm to the surface. Uh, if I go that route or if I decide to go ahead and do something like a small toothy or a pop-up base to deal with anybody when I am in my farm. And they show up. Yeah, you know, I don't know. Like I said, I, I still don't know about that project. I don't want to over 
do anything else here in this uh, region. But since I am converting it into a facility, I am going to go ahead and continue on with underground, uh, the bottom floor anyway, and complete all that. I did make two more chem stations. I had 20 beakers and 10 pots, so it's like, yeah, I'll, I'll make two real quick. Uh, that way I have my pharmaceutical set up. And then as far as trying to envision what am I going to do as far as like this room and the room behind me. Uh, this room is going to be more official. Uh, not really sure how. I think I will put like maybe a security detail here. And then on this side, even though it's not uh, a residential sector, it's still a facility, so you do need a cafeteria, you know, slash, not really a lounge, but at least a place to to converse and kick back, you know, in between breaks and shit. Uh, so I will probably end up converting this side into that. How I do it, not really sure yet. I may mimic over there and fill this in. That way I can put toilets here. But I'll most likely I'll put a kitchen, like a cafeteria style here. And then envision some tables around here and some couches and things of that nature. If I can find a way to put a TV somewhere, I'm going to put a couple TVs, things of that. Small details. The problem is, I think of all these little small details to do, and then time just continuously ticks and ticks and ticks, and before you know it, it's horde night. Uh, so it, it's a pain in the ass to build sometimes. Damn, it's still snowing. See, I love that. You know, maybe it's just me, but I love the way that looks. That looks uh, badass. That's why I really wish we could use modern lights more often. Because, let's see, you come over here, and I mean, yeah, even without lights, I mean, you see snow. It still looks pretty damn good. So, yeah, there there is the uh, pretty much update of what's been going on over this past week. Hopefully, I was able to add some of the footage and all that good stuff from uh, the shenanigans happening recently. Damn, I was kind of hoping to see another random horde come through. Of course, I am sitting at 47.51, so I don't really foresee that going up too high. I do need to focus, like I said, on punching grass in the morning. Work on the base a little bit, try to get things a little bit organized and straighten around. And somehow figure out how the hell I'm going to like that. <sighs> Man. Well, like I said, there's a good chance I'm going to end up breaking these blocks and replacing them. Even if it is just enough to put that in there. So, hopefully the video was actually pretty decent overall. I know it's probably going to be a pain in the ass to edit this, but uh, it'll be worth it. So, obviously, if you like the video, I do appreciate it if you hit the like button. If you're new around here, you want to stick around, think about maybe subscribing. That way you get uh, notifications, all that wonderful stuff. Click that bell. We all know how that works. And until next time, everyone. Stay safe. Thanks for watching. And take it easy. Just